What is your biggest professional triumph, Marcia? Yeah, so, um, so probably um, when I became plant manager of our bottom freezer refrigeration factory, okay. that, was, um, that was a really big deal for me. That was um, probably the, uh, the biggest career move that I had made because I had never worked in manufacturing before I took that role. And I'd, really? I'd been at GE Appliances for 20 years. Yeah, so, huh. but I, you know, like I said, I love to learn. And so I had worked in almost every function and um, we had just opened our new bottom freezer refrigeration factory um, and it was maybe six months um, that it had been open. So at that time, or right before it, GE um, Appliances had, was sourcing our bottom freezer refrigerator from Asia. And so as part of a, a big investment that GE made here in Louisville, Kentucky, um, we put um, hundreds of millions of dollars to transform a top freezer, small, low-end refrigeration factory into a very high-end bottom freezer refrigerator and bring product um, from Asia into the United States and right here in, you know, in Louisville, Kentucky, creating jobs. And, and to get to have such a high-end appliance mm -hmm. was, was amazing. So anyway, the, the plant manager job came open, and um, I, ca I can honestly say I wasn't necessarily thinking that that was something I wanted to right. do, but right. um, had some great mentors and uh, the manager um, at that time, Mike Shenantry, um, you know, contacted me and said, hey, what do you think? And I'm like, but you know, I'm not going to, I don't know, <laughs> plant manager, I'm not going to be like the other plant managers that you have. And he said, that's okay, we don't want you to be like that. We want you to be the way you lead and we mm -hmm. believe in you and we want you to try it. I said, okay. I said, well, I'll do that. So, you know, taking that job, there, I can count on my hand the number of female plant managers, you know, that, that there are, and not just at GE appliances, there just aren't a lot of women, mm -hmm. you know, in those type of leadership roles. So I didn't think about it at the time, um, you know, when, when I took the job, I was thinking, wow, something big, I'm going to learn right. something, Challenge. it's a little scary. And then when I got in there, the number of women in that factory who would come up to me and say, I am so glad you took this role. Wow, I can't believe they put, they let a woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, let a woman. You know, I, yeah. I earned this, by the way. But, yeah. but, but, but to be reflective of the demographic of who was working in the factory, 40% of our workforce mm -hmm. in that building are women, mm -hmm. and not to have women leaders is a disservice, mm -hmm. right? For people, you know, I, I unconsciously, not that anyone's trying to send right. a message in that way, but. Um, but, you know, it, it gives the people a symbol or, you know, a, a, a reflection of them to say, mm -hmm. I can be involved. It's more than just my hands they're hiring for. It's my heart and my brain as well. And I can contribute no matter who I am. And mm -hmm. so I, I really am proud of being able to, um, to, to be that and to represent, you know, our, our, our female um, women, you know, mm -hmm. out there. Um, in, in that regard. So that was really, so that was I'm, really So important. I'm curious, did someone come and tap you on the shoulder and go, hey, Marsha, you should apply for the they plant did. manager? They did. Or was it your initiative or both? Yeah. So, okay. So I'll, I'll tell you the story. Sure. This is a little embarrassing. But um, so at the time, they tapped me on the shoulder to be the quality manager. So I was the quality manager of uh, our bottom freezer refrigeration factory. Okay. And um, so I had been doing that for about a year. And our current plant manager was getting ready to retire, and so we had a new, a new manager for, of our um, of our manufacturing group, uh, you know, a general manager come in, and so we had never met. And so he called me up and said, "Hey, Marsha, I'd love to talk to you." And I'm like, "Oh, great! You know, you're your new manager. You, you know, want to." So we're walking down the aisle of our um, AP5 factory, and I'm thinking he's going to ask me about quality and where we stand. You know, all this. So I have all the numbers ready. I'm ready to go. And he says, um, he said, hey, I hear you want to be plant manager. And I was like, <laughs> so I kind of wear my emotions on my sleeve. I was like, what? I said, <laughs> I said no. I said, are you kidding? I said, I said me? I said, I don't have a man. I'm, a, I'm an, a design engineer. I know, uh -huh. You know my background, right? And he goes, oh, he goes, yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. He said, but he said, I've heard from other folks how much you're involved in the factory and, mm -hmm. you know, your leadership and, and what you've done and changed your, he said, he goes, I'm sorry, I must have it wrong. I was like, oh, that's okay. I said, I said no, I said, I, that's not what I want to do. Well, again, things happen for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. So I went, um, that same day, I happened to already have scheduled a meeting with my mentor. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I went to see her and she was like, hey, how are things going? How, how's your day been? I'm like, funny thing happened today. I said, strange that you asked. I said, <laughs> I, 
I got to meet Mike Schnantry, who uh, I know knew Jim. Oh, what do you think? Oh, great guy. I said, but strange. He asked me if I wanted to be plant manager. And she said, well, you told him yes, right? And I went, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> were, weren't the words that came out of my mouth. And, and uh, she, she goes, she put her hand on her desk and she said, you march right back there and you tell him you want that job. And I was like, I was like, no, I said, I, said, I don't have the background for it. This isn't what, you know, I never thought about being plant manager. And she said, she said, if you were plant manager, what would you do? And I named off three things. There she you said, go. you got to go do it. And yeah. I said, okay. So I did. I went back to Mike Shenantry yeah. and I knocked on his door and said, hey, I said, you know that conversation we said? I said, can I change my answer? I said, let me, let me <laughs> talk about it. that a little bit more. And um, anyway, it ended up being one of the best things I did. It was, it's uh -huh. the hardest job I've had. Um, but I'll tell you, Kurt, being able to work, it, I had a thousand people in mm. my building that I was responsible for. And what I learned um, most, um, not just about the factory, but about the human spirit. Mm -hmm. And those thousand people are probably some of the best people that, I have ever worked with. When you mm -hmm. talk about day in, day out challenges, people who will just go to war with you and problems in the factory that come up and their willingness you know, to get involved. I mean, you have mm -hmm. to provide a space for them, provide opportunity mm -hmm. for them to do mm -hmm. their job, clearly state the problems of what we have, but unleash that human power and that human spirit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I cannot tell you how amazing the people are. And I think that's what makes G appliances so special. And I mm -hmm. think it's what, um, it really taught me a, a great lesson of that power of, mm -hmm. of the human spirit. Mm -hmm.